All right, so this is a guitar that is called Heart Wood, made in Vietnam. And this is a guitar that you will find at Gear for Music. This model specifically is called uh, 56, like 50 in letters and six in numbers of 56. And it's this cool looking green guitar with uh, white or like cream banding, banding, binding. Binding. Um, some humbuckers that have split coil features and this big speed type uh, tremolo arm and locking tuners uh, for the price of like 200 pounds or something. Let's see if it's uh, worth the price. <laughs> So immediately what I am noticing is that the guitar looks really good. I mean, I think it looks amazing. The, the color is cool and, you know, it looks more expensive than it is. It is a set neck. I did get it secondhand, so it's been owned by another guy before and I got it for uh, from a trade. Um, so far, my feeling is that it's, it's fairly comfortable. It's like, it's a decently built guitar. But let's go through some tones and uh, talk about it. Okay, so now I have a AC30 clean tone, the one I used for the Pretender cover of a Foo Fighters song. And this will kind of give me a good indication of what the pickups sound like, if they're bright, if they're dull or what. So let's go through some like just clean tones with this setting and just see what it sounds like and you know, try the different pickups. So I'll be in humbucker mode first and then I'll go into split coil. Middle position. Uh, neck pickup. Let's go to bridge pickup and split coil. Let's see what it sounds before and after I split the coil. So before, after, okay, middle position in split coil. the neck split coil so my uh, immediate thought is that these pickups sound quite dull I'm wondering if it's the strings if they might be you know used and like slightly dead No, it's not the strings. They're not crispy, clean, spanky, bright new strings, but they are, you know, like a little bit used. So these pickups are not very bright, which might be a tone that you're after, because like if you go into a uh, neck pickup and not split, I guess like if you're a jazz player, you'll have some nice, you know, like... I'm not a jazz player, just so you know. I know nothing about how to play jazz. That wasn't even jazz. At least you have this like darker guitar, which might be something you're looking for. Like, because Let's see what happens when we use a mild overdrive um, 
on the clean channel of the amplifier and see if, if we can like brighten up the guitar and make it a little bit more lively. And this is in the split coil mode of the bridge pickup. Let's put it in the full humbucker. Next up, Heavy Tone. So the guitar plays well, it's fairly well built as well, I think, for the price of £200. Um, just the one thing that I can't really recommend so far in my experience are the pickups. They are a bit dull, a bit boring in my opinion. Maybe it's a tone that you're looking for or that you like, so, you know, um, I guess you can use this video to judge if that is a tone that you like or not. Um, the, the split coil feature does kind of make it up a little bit because it gives you more choices and you can almost take an amp and make it a bit brighter. But still, the, the pickups are a bit, you know, dull, like I said. Um, the one thing I haven't tested yet is the bridge, the, the big speed, the tremolo arm. And I'm generally not really a fan of using those things in any guitar, so I never do. But, you know, since it's a very prominent feature of this guitar, uh, I think I should try it out and see even if it will stay in tune. There's the nut that plays in with that and then there's the bridge. So let's try out a different tone and see what the guitar, uh, how it reacts when I use the whammy bar or the tremolo arm. Okay, I'm just trying a different tone. It's just a clean tone with a lot of reverb and delay and stuff. So, Or actually no delay, just reverb. Try. Let's try the, the whammy bar and see what happens. Did you notice that? So I did a 
very deep dive of the whammy and I released it so it like sprung up on its own and it went up in pitch so <laughs> And now it's out of tune. So before I was doing these mild bends and it didn't seem to affect the tuning too much, just stayed fairly well in tune. And then I went further and let it go and it jumped up and everything just got out of whack. Okay, so the Bixby clone, or whatever it is, doesn't seem to hold tuning very well, but I've heard that Bixby's don't do that anyways. So I think it's just the fault of the design of this thing as it is. Um, what I'm noticing is that you can, you can leave it in two positions, which is um, like a lower one and a higher one. So uh, that could be a bit of an issue. Maybe it does have something to do with the setup. Maybe it's the nut that isn't um, keeping things in tune properly. Maybe there's something that can be done here. I'm not that familiar with Bixby's. Um, if this is something that you can't fix, or you can't live with, then this would be a deal breaker for some of you. Because my guitar is out of tune now. Now it's almost kind of back in tune where it was before. Like, let's see. What's that song, the Chris Isaac song? Is it like that? Something like that, I don't know. But... Okay, so the tuning stability is not as bad as I was showing off before. I was just abusing the system. If you are gentle with it, and I guess if you kind of learn into the way it reacts, then it might be just fine. Or you could just also not use it if you just like the way it looks. It looks kind of cool, so. For 200 pounds, it's definitely not a bad guitar. I've seen a lot worse than this. It's maybe not the best guitar either, but it is kind of unique. I don't think you can get many shapes or designs like this one for this price. Maybe Harley Bente will have something. Um, I haven't checked. I'm sure they will have something in this kind of realm. But yeah, I think this guitar is you know kind of unique for the budget market. So if you liked the video, please consider subscribing because I will have a lot more content coming out very soon. So stay tuned.